just as we did with parametric curves. Now that we have the idea of curves expressed in polar coordinates, we want to be able to repeat a bunch of the calculus that we know well, what are tangents, what are areas, what are arc lengths, and so on. And the way I'm going to tackle this is thinking of polar coordinates as some parametric curve, a very specific parametric curve. Because we know that the formula is x is equal to r cosine of theta and y is equal to r sine of theta. But if what a polar curve does is it, it tells you that your r of theta is just some particular function of theta. In other words, my, my x and my y here are going to be expressed parametrically. Both the r depends on theta and of course the cos and the sine depend on theta. So my x and my y all depend on a parameter theta. So I can use the same formulas for parametric equations that I've done before for this specific parametric equation when things are expressed in polar coordinates. So for instance, if I want to deal with tangents, uh, we know that dy dx by our analysis in, in, of parametric curves, this was going to be the derivative of y with respect to the parameter, so in this case theta, all divided out by the derivative of x with respect to the parameter, in this case theta. And then I know what my y and what my sine are going to be, so that I'm going to take the derivative of theta of the y is r sine of theta, and the x is the derivative of respect to theta of r cosine of theta. And I can even go one step further here. Uh, if I'm thinking that my r is some function of theta, it depends on what problem is. So r is some function of theta, but this is a product on the top of two functions of theta. One is the function r, and the other is the function sine of theta. So in these derivatives, I can use the product rule. And first up, I can say this is the derivative of r with respect to theta multiplied by sine of theta. And then I copy and paste the first term, so I copy and paste the r and take the derivative of sine, which is cosine of theta. And then all of this divided out by the derivative of r with respect to theta multiplied by cosine of theta and then minus r sine of theta. So this is me using the product rule on the top and the bottom. And so I get this sort of nice formula for it. So let's run this out in a specific example. I have the same r that I saw in the previous video, r is 1 plus sine theta, and the question is, what is the slope of the tangent line for some particular theta value, in this case, theta equal to pi over 3? So what I need to do then is dy dx is my formula. I am going to say that this is, according to what I need to do first is, so according to my formula, if I want to figure out dy dx, that of course is the slope of the tangent line, first thing I need to figure out is what dr d theta is going to be. So that's just going to be cosine of theta. And then if I look back at my formula that was dr d theta, then I needed to multiply by a sine theta. So I'm going to multiply by sine theta. And then I add to it r, and r is just 1 plus sine theta. And looking back at my formula, after I multiply by r, it's a cosine of theta. So cosine of theta. So that's the top. And then on the bottom, it is again the derivative of r, so it is going to be again the cosine of theta. But this time, it's multiplied by another cos theta, so I'm going to make it cos squared. And then I'm going to subtract off the r, 1 plus sine theta, and then multiply by sine theta. So that's my dy dx, as a function of theta. The specific problem that I was asking for was to evaluate this at theta equal to pi over 3. So I want to do theta equal to pi divided by 3. I want to evaluate the right-hand side at theta equal to pi over 3. Now this is just going to be a bunch of cosines and sines. I just need to figure out what those are going to be. And in order to do this, I need to remember my formula. If I'm going to have pi divided by 3, it is going to be the 1, 2, root 3 formula. And I can just evaluate like this. And I don't feel like simplifying, so let's just leave it there.